We have, um, the other lead has another bill. We, this one's simpler, I promise. You know, I said it before, we have heard this bill. I think the, the fee increase may have been a different number, but a few people filed this bill. This one's uh, much simpler. Uh, the uh, law libraries in the Commonwealth are funded largely by a $4 charge when you file a lawsuit. Uh, they haven't been increased in 30 years, and uh, I think if, for all of us who practice law knows, $3 more is not much in an expensive lawsuit, which is often thousands and thousands of dollars. This is what funds the law libraries. Many localities, including my own at Alexandria, have asked for this. Uh, and when funding goes down, city funds have to cut law libraries, which serve the public. I do have a witness here from Alexandria that supports it. I don't know if you want to hear from him, but I don't think adding $3. Oh, one more thing, it's optional. No locality has to do this. It simply allows a locality to add another $3 to the surcharge when you file a filing fee on a civil case so we get our law libraries done. Okay, you want to testify? Come on up. Good afternoon, I'm Bernie Cape with the City of Alexandria. A uh, delegate will be in explaining the bill well. It's not a complex thing. We've had to cut back the hours. This is uh, a detriment to both the lawyers in the city and the general public that often rely on the libraries. So we're looking for a way to get more funding. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Any questions? All right, anybody else here speak in favor of the bill? We don't necessarily oppose the bill, however, what we would ask is that if the, if the party is going to entertain doing an option, that the option actually be consistent upon the, the, the fiscal year of the Commonwealth, meaning that if it's going to take effect, let it take effect July the 1st. Uh, I think we've had these types of bills passed. Uh, in the past where they are done at the locality expense where when the, the bodies meet, they'll go ahead and do it and it'll happen throughout the year. So it does become a little bit of a problem when folks are filing and they don't necessarily want to file a fee. Well, and we had this problem because Boyd Graves looked at a bill this year that we didn't end up doing, I think, was that question about if somebody was in default or they missed their statute of limitations because they got the wrong filing fee because different courts had different fee. And Boyd Graves looked at changing that. It is a there are obviously a lot of people who vote against all fee increase bills. And then there's people We're trying who, not to do that. Right, and then there are people who don't like law libraries and want to go away. And then there's people who are concerned about the problems that small fee changes make when it comes to filing and meeting deadlines and that type of thing. So, okay? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Sure, right. I would have certainly no objection to conforming the time as mm -hmm. requested. Okay. All right, Doug and Michi. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Perhaps our, our staff remind me that this is my sixth year on, um, on courts, and I can at least count at least two, maybe three times I've seen this bill. I think every year. And uh, so I'm curious, for my memory sometimes fails me, would, would someone know the legislative history of these kind of law library fee increase bills and how they've gone over the years? I think it has not changed in many, many years, and every bill seeking to change it has been laid on the table since then. Thank you. I believe it's been over 30 years. Yeah, so, Mr. Chairman, um, since we've seen it a number of times and it hasn't been done in 30 years, in honor of the 30 year war, <laughs> I, move, I move that we report this bill. All right, there's a motion to report House Bill 2131. Second. All right, move to second. Any debate? I got a motion to lay it on the table. <laughs> motion to lay on the table. Is there a second? Second. All right, move to second. That's not debatable. All those in favor of laying 2131 on the table say aye. Aye. Those opposed? All right, bills at the table. Uh, thank you, Doug Levine. We'll see you back when, uh, on 28. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Okay.